the next binyan is nifal. Nifal describes a passive action, describes the exact opposite of the previous binyan, pa'al. And this is why it is also a simple binyan, binyan, kal, that describes a simple action. As you can see, in the template of this binyan, we have a prefix, the letter nun, nun, nif'al. You can see in the template, in the squares, the vowel signs of this binyan. Of course, once again, this template is the template of the basic form of this binyan, which is the past masculine singular form. The prefix of the letter nun can fill two roles in the Hebrew language. It will not always describe the binyan nifal. As you can see here, in the top two words, we can see a word, the three shorish letters, and the nun as a prefix. In this case, in the top two words, the nun helps us to describe the tense, the future tense. So, nigzo, nilbash. These two words are in the future form, and the nun is specifying the future tense. However, in the two bottom words, we can see the three shorish letters and the nun as a prefix before these three letters. And in this case, the prefix nun is specifying the binyan nifal. You will learn how to recognize what is the meaning of this prefix. It will be according to the context in the sentence or in the words before and after this word. So whenever you see a nun before the three sholish letters, it will not always be the binyan nifal. You will see more examples later on. If you would like to learn more about Hebrew grammar and how to recognize all the different forms of each verb, join our full online course, Hebrew Grammar Verbs Master Course on Udemy. Link in the description. Good luck.